In late 2015, we were approached by SpaceX for some land to build rockets. And the rockets were going to be very large, which would not allow them to move them the traditional way, which is by truck to their launch pad. Therefore, they needed property with water access. We identified a 19-acre parcel that was sitting fallow since 2005 that once homed the Southwest Marine Shipyard. So the first aspect of this project, of course, is our lease negotiations, and then we're going to go into the building phase of this project. It's an 80,000-foot building that's 80 feet tall with no columns on the inside of the building. It's a big hangar. And when we add on to it, it'll, be, it'll wind up being a total of a 200,000-square-foot building. I drove all around the place, and I found this property. And I looked at it, and that was like the perfect spot for us. We drive the economy, and most of the stuff we focus on are the industries and the growth of today. But we also have to plant the seeds for tomorrow, so we are bringing SpaceX to the Port of Los Angeles. Having been in this industry now 28 years, I know that access to space is hard, but it's critical to um, not just our industry, but to the nation as a whole. I also say the project solidifies our role as a spaceport. I've talked about that before when we were offloading Falcon 9 out of 22nd Street, pretty exciting. Uh, puts us on the map as a contributor to the exploration of the final frontier that is space. And I think it is an amazing opportunity for all of us to say we are part of it. <laughs>